Hey everybody, it's Kevin Key here. Uh, what's in your bag, home edition. The COVID edition where you gotta stay in for six months and listen to something that you find in your record collection that you really like. Well, I found a lot of records that I just like to play over and over. Let's start with this one. Public Image Limited, second edition, also known as the metal box. This is better than metal, trust me. My second choice, Sun Ra, Sleeping Beauty. The first time you hear this, you will be transformed into a Sleeping Beauty. It's not boring. My third pick, Scientist rids the world of the evil curse of the vampires. This is probably one of the best dub, tasty albums I've can probably ever, ever listened to. And if you haven't heard of dub, then you should start here. Scientist. My next pick, Shangin Electro, new wave dance music from South Africa. If you haven't heard this record, it's a must listen. It's a gatefold, and if you look up, look them up online, they do the most craziest, wonderful dancing too. Shangan Electro. Okay, this is on my, Rihanna, you love this one too. Now we'll go back in time and explore the beginnings. Some say the first real industrial record. Thomas Lear, Robert Rental, The Bridge, one of the all-time early greats. It's actually a real industrial record. Second Lair, The World of Rubber. Not many people have heard this album or heard of it, but when you hear it, it'll make an impression upon you. It's Adrian Borland from The Sound, uh, side project, and uh, it's really good, and you should check it out. I think it was made 1981, Cherry Red Records. I love this album. Burbanese Quark, Laughing Afternoon. This album is kind of like a mixture of home homemade electronics, uh, guitars, bass, Really nice homemade drum sounds, but they they made several albums, but this album is exceptional. Burbanese Quark. How about the record that probably every maybe industrial band might have ever been inspired by? Portion Control. I staggered mentally. Very good album and inspired everybody, including Skinny Puppy and everybody else that went along with it. Nocturnal Emissions, Viral Shedding. Nigel Ayers and Carolyn Kay made this album, I think about 1980 or 79, and it is like the hardest electronic album I think I've ever heard. If you want to hear the beginnings of what inspired the beginnings of the industrial dance era, Check this album out, Viral Shedding, Nocturnal Emissions. And last but not least, this was my favorite album to listen to, whether it's COVID or not, is uh, the legendary Pink Dot's first album, Brighter Now. It is uh, probably my favorite work that they did. And uh, I think this album is now 40 years old and it's available on CD. So check it out, Legendary Pink Dots, Brighter Now. And that's about it for me here at my home. So I'm gonna go back digging through my records right now and see what else I can find.